In May of 2003, the schooner Norderlicht set out from the port of Tromsø in northern Norway. Hauling up the sails alongside the Dutch crew was a group of 20 artists and scientists, teachers and journalists. For the next two weeks, the ship would be their home and their workplace as they sailed across the Barents Sea towards the high Arctic. This was the beginning of the first Cape Farewell expedition, the brainchild of photographer and video artist David Buckland. The aim of the voyage was to raise public awareness about global warming. For many of the Cape Farewell crew, their journey began with three grim days of seasickness. The wind-whipped seas to the north of Norway are known as the Devil's Dance Floor. On the fourth day of sailing, the Norderlicht arrived at her destination, the coast of Spitsbergen, the major island of the Svalbard archipelago. Rising jaggedly from the ocean, midway between Europe and the North Pole, this is one of the last great wildernesses of the world. And it stands right on the front line of all our anxieties about climate change and environmental decay. Its wildlife is in need of protection. Its pure air is becoming corrupted. And its ageless glaciers are crumbling. This is what the members of the Cape Farewell expedition came here to experience and investigate, visiting Spitsbergen three times over the past three years. There were two spring and summer trips around the coast of the island, and in 2005, there was a winter journey. The Cape Farewell team again spent a week living on the Nordlicht, but this time the ship was frozen fast into the ice of a fjord, and temperatures were down to minus 30 degrees. Among the artists on this trip were several famous faces, including the sculptors Anthony Gormley and Rachel Whiteread, the choreographer Siobhan Davies and the writer Ian McEwan. Buckland's invitation to these artists was simple. Come along and experience the Arctic. Talk to the scientists and let's hope it will inspire you to make art. <laughs> 